the benefits of magnesium are indescribable because the magnesium is involved in I think over 3,000 biochemical reactions. So just about just about everything that's going on in your body, every type of transformation from one molecule to the next or the utilization of a molecule as a fuel source, it almost always involves magnesium. The reason I put it in the sleep supplement is because the conversion of 5-hydroxytryptophan to serotonin requires magnesium. But it's, and, and almost, and interestingly enough, uh, the vitamin D3 is almost always a cofactor for magnesium. So when you need, when you're using magnesium in a reaction, you're almost always using vitamin D3 as well. So uh, there's there's really no limit to saying like what it does. It it does everything. Like every physiologic function in your body is impacted by magnesium. Um, what we use it for usually. Uh, because it's very positive, uh, it's a pos it's a positive molecule, and and the way it gets used, it can create positive charges inside of cells, and when you create positive, uh, positive uh, charges inside of cells and outside of cells, the balance of that de depend or uh, determines how well a like how well a cell fires and sort of interacts with its environment, or what sort of channels open up to allow. Uh, things to go in and out of it. Um, the let's just say magnesium is really, really important. You can't overstate how important it is. Now, how do you know if you're using too much of it? Um, you know you're using too much of it if um, your GI tract gets you out of bed in the middle of the night or if you just feel like kind of a constant gurgly, nauseous, uh, because magnesium doesn't absorb out of the gut very well. Um, that's why there's a lot of different forms of magnesium. If you look at those as a supplement, uh, there's a ton of different ways that they give magnesium as a supplement because some forms get through the gut lining better, um, but it's, it is a pretty th hard thing to absorb. So. If you absorb, let's say if you're only absorbing 50% of what you take and you put a lot of that in there, well, that uh, basically magnesium is a salt and water follows salt. And so if you have a lot of salt in your gut, then you get a little water in your gut and that leads to diarrhea. And so then you know you've had way too much. Um, that's really the best source of knowing, like balancing it out for you is like if, it, if it's causing you distress, then you know, lower it. Um, how do you know if you have enough is actually a really underappreciated uh, test. Um, if you go to your general practitioner, I would say 99% of the time they're going to test how much magnesium is in your serum, means just how much magnesium do they find floating around. That's not a very good metric um, because that can be totally dependent upon your diet and your nutritional status at that moment. Something that's much more reliable is how much magnesium is bound in the red blood cells. So your red blood cells have their own lining and magnesium actually binds in the lining of the red blood cells and you can measure that as a separate test. Uh, and so red blood cell bound magnesium gives you a much better determination as to what your magnesium state is. Um, and it takes a while to build up and it takes a while for that to go away. So it's, it's a much more stable than sort of your day-to-day -day magnesium. If you think of any salt that you take into your body that could vary wildly from day-to-day, -day, magnesium's just one of those salts.